Monaco, a place of luxury, nice cars, millionaires, and the home of Ligue 1 side AS Monaco. Back in the 2011-2012 season, Monaco saw themselves 18th in Ligue 1 and relegated down into the second division. Following relegation, they were instantly crowned champions and were back in the top flight of French football, with only losing four games throughout the whole season. Fast forward to 2017 and Monaco find themselves winning the Ligue 1 title, with the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Radamel Falcao scoring 30 and 26 goals respectively. As of today, Monaco has sat third in the Ligue 1 table and in today's video, we're going to try and rebuild them back to that Ligue 1 title. I hope you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on this video and make sure to give me some suggestions for career mode rebuilds in FC24 and I can try and do as many as I can. And make sure to subscribe if you're new around the here. I appreciate the support on every video that I have put out recently. And we're going to dive straight into this rebuild of Monaco. Let's see how we get on. Right then, guys, starting off season one in summer transfer window. We're only making two signings to the team in the first window. Rayner has joined from Borussia Dortmund for 23 million. And Noni Madueke has joined from Chelsea for 18.1 million. So for the first summer window, didn't want to make too many signings. Just wanted these two players to slot into the squad, which I'm going to show you right now. So I will be right back. Right then, guys, as you can see here on the screen, this is going to be the team that we're going to rock for the first season. Now, I've only made two changes. Like I said, the two transfers, Madueke and Reyna in for um, a couple of other Min Minamino on the thing and Diati. Uh, ben Yed is still going to play up top for us, but I think he's only got one season left with us, to be honest. Uh, obviously, we've got Balogun who could also play up top. If Ben Yedda does start going down the ratings, I probably will put him up top. Golovin on the left, Fafana, Sagaria in the middle. And then we're going to go with the back line that we would had. Obviously, we've got a lot of players in reserves. But for now, this is going to be the squad. And we're going to go into the first season and see where we end up in Season 1. Right then, guys. End of Season 1. And Monaco have finished 7th in the table. <clears throat> Not a great start to the video. But 7th isn't that bad. I mean, we should really be pushing up in towards the fifth and fourth places but i think next season what we're going to do we're going to try and sign a few more players that are probably a bit better rating than the players we have now and hopefully in the second season we can push on into that top four spot so i'm going to go look at the player stats for now let's see what we did end up with in terms of goals and assists and stuff so reina only on 10 goals and ben Yedda 10 goals for the top goal scorer obviously ben Yedda, oh wow he's going down the rating so he's definitely going to be sold next uh, season and I think Belligan is going to be the one that goes up front for us. So not many goals scored this season, if I'm being honest. But hopefully we can change that in Season 2. So I'm going to go into Season 2 now. Finish 7th in the first season. Not too bad, but hopefully we can improve. I think a few more signings and we're going to be right up there in the top four. So roll on into Season 2 and the Summer Window. Right then, guys. Season 2 transfer window is now over. And we've made a lot of signings and a lot of outgoings. Jacob Ramsey is the first player to join Monaco for 26.5 million from Aston Villa. Bard from OGC Nice. And we sent uh, Maripen on the other way, so we didn't pay as much. Jacobs or Jacobs gone to Athletic Club. Minamino's gone to Forest. Enrique's gone to Napoli for 27.5 million. Clerk, we bought a young French goalkeeper from Monaco who I spotted. I thought, why not? He's French, kind of keep it in the French league, French theme of Monaco and Ligue 1. So he joins and he'll probably be the keeper for the future after a couple of seasons. Uh, Simakin is also the next big player we signed from Marseille for 37 million. Go straight into the centre-back role just to boost up the defence a little bit. Um, we've loaned out a couple of players um, who don't really get game time. Jelson Martins didn't play and he's just sold 4.3. Uh, Matozo is also sold and that is going to conclude the summer window so now I'm going to go and show you the current team for the season Clerk's going to be in goal Vanderson the back line's not changed apart from Simikin Bard at left back Ramsey on the left Madueke on the right Reyna Balogun is going to play up top now um, Ben Yedda has left so this is the squad I mean it's looking quite tasty now so hopefully we can improve on 7th and we can climb the table into one of those Europa League or Champions League spots. So we're going to go simulate through this Season 2 and we're going to see where we end up at the end of Season 2. Right then guys, as you can see, this concludes Season 2 and Monaco have finished third. Improvement from last season. I think the additions of a few positions did help. So we finished on 75 points. Monaco third. Marseille second and PSG obviously top as always. Hopefully we can change that in a few seasons time. So I want to quickly also check the cup competitions because I didn't check that in the last 
won and I've just changed the competition back to I didn't I became second oh, semi-finals sorry not second semi-finals knocked out on penalties by Montpellier not what you want to see is there any other competitions that we're in I, uh, that's actually the relegation player so season two we've had a look at this team there a lot of plus fives across the board which is lovely to see let's go into the squad hub and check the stats as we always do Balogun with 27 goals Ma Amadoeke with 11 Ramsey of nine Reina's actually been injured, I think, for a bit. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not too sure. But anyway, a lot have got much more improvement uh, from last season with the goals. So we're going to now end this season. Season 2 is a success into the Champions League. And we're going to simulate into Season 3. Boy, oh boy, have we been busy. Gusto is the first signing of the summer. Golovin went the other way. Vanderson left. Uh, a couple of loanies. Kamara came in for 53 million from Aston Villa. Another... Madaweke, I accidentally sold by accident. I can't believe I did that. I accidentally pressed accept instead of reject, which is really stupid of me. But Marlon came in for 42 million to replace Madaweke. Unfortunately, Balogun <clears throat> submitted a transfer request and I couldn't keep him. So they paid his release clause of 50 million, which is a shame because he was really going to look like a really good player. But unfortunately, we just, we just couldn't do anything, couldn't give him a new contract. And we had to bring in Moises Keane. From Juventus for 43 million pounds and now I'll show you guys what the team's looking like with the new additions in the team is looking good I have to say so hopefully we finished third last season we're into the Champions League can we get out of the group stages can we go on to win the title we'll have to find out in this season so I'm going to simulate now we'll get to the end of the season and say, see where we end up oh my god guys end of season three we've ended up second but on the same 75 points the same as PSG but they've managed to win the league with 10 goal difference unfortunately what a season that is for Monaco I obviously want to go and check the standings for the other competitions so the cup we ended up winning we won the French Cup which is lovely to see 2-0 let's see where we ended up in the Champions League now I'm not too sure Bayern against Inter was the final semi-finals no quarterfinals no okay we were in the round of 16 we got knocked out by Bayern Munich so we managed to get out of the group in the first time in the Champions League and unfortunately we couldn't get any further than the round of 16 but we did finish second so we're back in the Champions League next season and what I want to do is quickly go and check the stats as always for the players this season top goal scorer Malin with 33 goals wow Keane with 19 Ramsey with 17 Reyna with 7 and then a couple of others with a couple of contributions so really really positive start well really positive end to the season of season 3 really really happy with that um, I think we'd, we're a few more signs away with competing and getting that title from PSG and then we can focus on the Champions League so we're going to head into season 4 now we're going to go straight into the summer window and I'm going to show you who we sign the season four transfer window has closed and Casado was the first player we signed for 49 million because Camera left the other way to Lille for 20 million. Our backup goalkeeper we sold for 24 million to Juventus. He's 28 and he wasn't getting game time, so I just sold him to get the money. Slobber Sly, this is the massive signing of the window. Reyna went the other way to Liverpool and we got Slobber Sly, 25 years old. He's about 87 rated. He's one of the best players in the center attack and mid roll in the game. I'm really happy with that. That is all we did. I know it's not too many signings, but we spent a lot of money and I think the improvements can hopefully win us the league title this season. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can get through past the round of 16 in the Champions League as well. So we're going to simulate the rest of season four and see where we end up. Well, 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 second again behind PSG. This time it's not as close as it was last year, but unfortunately Monaco falls short once again. But we are up there. We are up there. I mean, PSG are just too good. Give it at least another season or two. We are going to win that league. I'm telling you now. We've got enough good players in the squad to do so. So we're going to go click check. Uh, I think this was the Super Cup of France kind of thing. So PSG did beat us, which is a bit annoying, but not too bad. And we actually retained the cup. We won the French Cup back to back, which is lovely to see. I want to see the Champions League now. So Napoli Athletic Madrid final. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Where did we finish? Round of 16, oh, round of 16 again, 3-2 on aggregate against United, really, really gutting there, but we can move on now into Season 5. I'm hoping Season 5 can bring us league title success and really hope we can push out of the round of 16. I think if we sign a couple more big superstar players, we can definitely do that. So we're going to roll it into the next season. 
end of season five transfers are done and as you can see i had to do it when i eventually had enough money i had to bring mbappe back to monaco where he first started when he was only 16 years of age moist keen and 100 million i mean it's a lot of money and a good player but mbappe he's 94 rated he's an absolute beast but he comes in bard goes to psg for 50 million and nuno mendez comes to monaco for eight, uh, 65 million from arsenal so massive massive signing in Kylian mbappe Hopefully he can be the one to push us to win the league and title and get through the Champions League uh, group stages, round of 16. I mean, PSG have lost their best player. So does that mean we can go on and win the league now? Let's find out in season five. Season five brings no surprise. We finish second once again behind PSG. We were nearly there, but I thought this season was going to be the one where we actually catch PSG out and win the league. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we don't. We finished second once again. I'm going to quickly check. Okay, PSG beat us again in the um, the uh, like Super Cup thing. Wow, we didn't win the Cup this time. Round of 32. We got knocked out by Nos in the round of 32. Wow. Champions League. Now, this is a big one. Barcelona versus Dortmund in the final. Semi-final. Oh, we got knocked out by Barcelona who are in the final, in the quarterfinal. So, an improvement in the Champions League. Maybe we just need a couple more signings this season in Season 6 to hopefully win the league and get to the final of that Champions League. So, Season 6 is upon us. So I'm going to dive straight into it, into the transfer market, and we're going to buy some more players and hopefully... We can win the league and the Champions League in season six. Right then, guys, summer window in the sixth season. Williams is our massive signing, 123 million from Man City and Saar at centre back, and also a free agent um, just because I needed a couple of players in the centre back position. So I thought I'd bring in a free player. So this is going to be the end of season six and hope of the window. So hopefully we can kind of push on to win the league now. We've got Williams in and Saar to improve the team. And let's see how we get on in season six. Oh, guys, it does not look good. We finished fourth in season six. Not sure what's happened. Two seasons in a row, we finished second, closely behind PSG. And unfortunately, we couldn't do it. And in the cup, again, we've also fell short in, it fell short in the round of 16. I also want to check the Champions League now. And we did, where did we go? Oh, wow, we came second. Oh, we came second in the group. Oh, we went out to Lazio, 3-1 in the round of 16 once again. So... Once again, we can't get out of the round of 16 and we finished fourth in the league, which is really disappointing. It means Europa League next season for Monaco. Maybe we can go on to win that and then boost ourselves. At the moment, it's not looking good in terms of winning something, but who knows? Season seven, what, what it can bring us. So hopefully we can carry on and improve. I'm going to go into season seven in the transfer window right now. Okay then, guys, as you can see on the screen, Lavia was season seven's first signing for 60 million. Stani, 32 million from Chelsea, right mid, 23 years old. And then the keeper from, I think it was one of the Italian teams, 42 million plus uh, Clerk, who was the young goalkeeper. He didn't really do much well for us, which I was surprised by. So I've uh, decided to sell him for a keeper who's like 87 rated. So I'm hoping this season we can kind of get the league out of the way and win it. And then next season, push on to try and win champions league to we have to re-qualify through the europa league or the league position so season seven is ahead of us let's see how we get on as you can see guys we have now finally won the league and title it took us i mean this is what the seventh season now i mean it, it was a long one but we finally beat psg to the title only losing two games i mean the team we've got is amazing and uh we've finally done it let's just go check the europa league and the french cup i'm not too sure psg won the cup so i don't know where we've placed wow we got knocked out in the round of 32 wow that's not what you want to see anyway we're going to move on into the europa league bit if i can get there uh champions league we're not in the champions league we got knocked out in the semi-final against lazio they beat us again but at least we do get the champions league football for next season because we finished the top of the league and we finally won the league and title like monaco did back in in a few years ago so now the last goal is to win the champions league final so hopefully in season eight we can do that so let's get into the season eight and the transfers and see if we can win that champions league right then guys as you can see on the screen diaz and hassan are the two big signings of season eight a new center back and a new right mid combined 123 million pounds a lot of free agents came in because i needed the squad players and Restani has left for 53 million because we replaced him with Hassan. So we're nearly, nearly there. I think this squad is good enough to win the Champions League now. Hopefully in season eight, we can do that. So let's dive straight into the season and see where we end up. End of season eight. And as you can see, guys, back to back titles for Monaco. We've absolutely smashed it once again. 23 wins, eight draws, three losses. And 
I mean, Nice and PSG were nowhere to be seen. So that's back-to-back -back league titles, which is really, really good to see. Uh, this is the Super Cup. Monaco beat us, which is unfortunate. We didn't win the cup, which we haven't won the cup for a while, to be fair, um, which is okay. Now, the big one is obviously the Champions League. Did we get the final this time? And yes, we did. We're in the final against Real Madrid, and I will be playing this game. And hopefully, we can be seeing out the video by winning the Champions League. Finally, only took us eight seasons to get to the final. We're playing against Real Madrid. So, what I'm going to do now is quickly go into the squad and look at the stats for the season. Now, I'm hoping that we've got some decent stats here. So, Mbappe is still 30, 95 rated, 37 goals. Slobosly as well, Williams. So, we've done really, really well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the Champions League final against Real Madrid. We're going to play the game and hopefully we can finally win the Champions League. Right then, guys, as you can see here, we're at the Real Madrid Monaco Champions League final. I just wanted to quickly show you the team we're coming up against. That is Real Madrid. Valverde, Bellingham, Vinny Jr. are still all there. Valde is there as well. Militao as well, also there. And a couple of youngsters and uh, regens, I think, that's right back in the centre mid. Don't know about the striker, not sure about the CDM, centre back or goalkeeper that I've ever seen before. Um, but anyway, I want to quickly show you our lineup for this game. We could go into team management. Unfortunately, which is kind of frustrating, Nuno Mendes has a red card and one of the only kind of players we had left was a 71 rated. So it's going to be interesting. Apart from that, our team is looking unbelievable and I really think we can do this, guys. So. Hopefully, we can win the Champions League. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. We're going to go into this Champions League final against Real Madrid and see if we can win it. They come Real Madrid now. Gusto has to do some defending. It's a great challenge and Gusto can come away with the ball. Going to wait for that run. San trying to play in Mbappe, but he can't. It's a good tackle. Casado gives the ball away now. Here comes Vinny Jr. Gusto and Casado. Casado does enough. Madrid down the left with Balde. Up against Gusto, inside to Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. And it's saved by the keeper. It's a great save. You have to watch this short ball here. Vinny Jr. It's a great tackle from Williams. And Gusto find him on the overlap. A lot of possession here. But, oh, that's a lovely play. Oh, great ball. It's Hassan. Slobosai finds Mbappe. Killian Mbappe for Monaco. He's through on goal. It's Mbappe. Oh, the keeper saved it. What a save by the keeper. Corner kick for Slobosai. He's whipped it in. And it's a header. Oh, Lavia off the crossbar. And we're unlucky. Real Madrid now. Good chance. Vinny Jr. And it's saved. But I think the ball was already out of play, which it was. Mbappe now. We'll play that ball over the top to Williams. Williams is through for Monaco. It's Williams. And it's a goal. 1-0 to Monaco. It's a great finish from Williams. What a run that was on the left-hand side. And Bappe, the player to get the assist there. It's a lovely work goal from Monaco to put us 1-0 up in the Champions League final. It's a lovely composed finish into the bottom corner. And Williams... Gets the goal, and Monaco now won that up against Madrid. Ball's played down the line. Valverde now, the Real Madrid captain, whips it in. And it's a good clearance, but only fires Bellingham, blocked by Casado. Still a chance here for Real Madrid. Good tackle. And now Monaco can come away with the ball. Slobosly. Gonna feed in Mbappe, and we are unlucky to do so. And Real Madrid are going to come back the other way with Vinny Jr. It's Vinny Jr. Diaz has to get on the goal sides and the keeper can claim. Here come Real Madrid one more time. They're putting on the pressure here. And it's Vinny Jr. He plays it to Bellingham. It's saved by the keeper. What a save that could be in this tie. Out wide to Martinez. Played back inside to Vinny Jr. It's Vinny Jr. Diaz is on the wrong side of him. Oh, he's given a penalty. No. No way. He's given a penalty for that. And Diaz has given Real Madrid a lifeline. It's Vinny Jr. And he's chipped it down the middle. Oh my God, no way. Vinny Jr. chips it down the middle. And it's now 1-1 with 10 minutes to go. Ball's whipped in. It's a great save by the keeper. Oh my God, he saved it again. 
Oh my god. What the hell? The keeper has just saved us in this tie. What was that? Oh my god, that was insane. Ball's played down the line. Oh, that's a shocking pass. Williams can't keep it. Lavia now has to trap back. Oh, this is really, really tense. Two added minutes now. Mbappe, can he go down the line? No. And is the ref going to blow the full time whistle? He does. 1-1. One, one. Extra time it is for the Champions League final between Monaco and Real Madrid. What an insane game this has been. Mbappe on the turn. Oh, that's an unbelievable turn from Kylian Mbappe. It's Mbappe. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Mbappe! It's a goal! Mbappe! The hero that could be for Monaco. He scores the goal in the extra time to make it 2-1. The former Monaco man in real life makes it 2-1. And hopefully that puts one hand on the trophy. Casado plays the ball over the top to Williams. It's Williams. Squares it to Slobosly. Slobosly. Mbappe, is he on side? Oh, he's missed. Hassan! It's Hassan! He scored the winner, surely, in the last minute of the game. I can't believe it. It's 3-1 to Monaco. And surely, one out of a minute, that should be game over now. Surely, ref, blow the whistle. Real Madrid have one more chance, but I don't think it's going to matter. And that's it. Monaco have won the Champions League. We have finally done it. After many seasons of unsuccessful round of 16 losses and a quarter final, we finally made it to the summit. And the winner of the Champions League, 3-1 against Monaco. Hassan Mbappe and Williams with the goals. Unbelievable. This rebuild has been so fun to do. The team we had in the end was absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I certainly did. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment any teams you want me to do in a rebuild and I will do them for you. And make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy Monaco lifting the Champions League.